control your pool equipment with your phone? This is a step-by-step -step guide and I'll tell you what you need. This is specific for the Hayward Aqua Plus and ProLogic pool equipment. Let's go. First thing you're going to need is a Hayward antenna, or what they call it, a wireless base station. This is going to connect to the main panel outside. It has a small mounting hole to the box and a connector that plugs into the motherboard. It's pretty small, lightweight, and when mounted correctly, it should be okay in the rain and outdoor elements. The next thing we need is the receiver for the antenna, which Hayward calls the AquaConnect Home Network. This will connect to your home switch or router. It comes with a power cord, a network cable, documentation, the typical stuff. We're just going to use this six step quick start guide, which clearly explains the steps. The Aqua Connect has some LED status lights. On the back, a place for the network cable to connect to your router and power. There is a communication interface, but we're not going to worry about that. Maybe I'll do another video about this later on if it's something that's useful. Looking at the LEDs, I would guess RF will turn green if we have an RF connection to the antenna and pool controller. TX lets us know we're transmitting. RX, if it's receiving, and link, I would imagine if it's connected or transmitting and receiving. If you know better, send a comment. I'm not too worried about these, just as long as they light up green or blinking green. Let's get going. Okay, my pool setup a Hayward pool heater. I also have a water feature, pool lights, and obviously a filter. This is a salt water pool, so I want to be able to control this also. I want to control everything and see status from my phone. Getting into the panel, I'm using a Hayward Aqua Plus controller. As I mentioned, this same setup and install will work with a Hayward ProLogic controller. Now, on the side, there's a small guide hole that I'll secure the antenna to, or if you want to use technical terms, the wireless base station. Get ready to be controlled with my phone. Not you, Junior. The pool. That kid's uncontrollable. That's how it's going to go. Should be a perfect fit. This hole, I wasn't sure if it was a simple punch out of the panel, so I tried a screwdriver and a hammer to break it loose. It's not, because they probably wanted to make sure that the panel is waterproof from the elements. I went to the hardware store and purchased this to make the hole. It should cut through the sheet metal just fine. I did eyeball it, but this does seem to be the right size. Let's use some power tools. First, I'm going to turn off the power to the pool controller so I don't turn into a power tool. Thank you, Mr. Pool Guy, for labeling this. Now, let's see if it's labeled right. The pump turned off. 
and the display is blank. We're good to go. There are three flathead screws to take the front panel off. There's the third one, it's hiding. I think you know how to undo screws, so let's speed this up. In my setup, this is the cable for the salt chlorinator. Okay, it's pretty naked, but let's look at where the antenna is going to plug into. That's it in the top right connector. It's also labeled wireless, which you might not be able to see, but you'll have to trust me. There's the guide where the hole will be. I need to be careful I don't go too far in and drill into the wires of the motherboard. I took my drill and went slowly, checking to make sure I have clearance not to damage anything. Feed the wire through. And make sure the rubber washer is on the outside to seal from the weather. I tightened up this one end with a plastic nut and plugged in the wire connector. It's good the connector has notches so you can't plug it in wrong. Everything's secure. Put the panel back on. Also make sure the salt water cell is plugged in. That salt cell should be happy now. Now, time to turn the power back on at the breaker. For the sake of it, I want to make sure the power is on at the pool equipment. Pool's at 85 with no heater on. It's a hot day today. Now my router is upstairs behind that window where the Aqua Connect is going to be. One important thing is the two devices have to communicate. The RF signal has to reach the Aqua Connect. The signal should reach it no problem. I'm not worried. Okay, step one is completed. And for step two, we need to train the devices. The direction says press the menu button until I see settings. Now the side arrow keys until it says teach wireless. And then the plus sign to start. I get this message that says hold and press the wireless button. With the Aqua Connect, the wireless button is basically the teach button. This needs to be held down until the four LEDs are solid. The lights should blink and the pool LED panel should say successful. You can see here I did it and the panel says not successful. I messed up and let go too soon and the four LEDs should have been solid and not blinking. 
So I did it again until they were solid and the panel showed it was successful. This time I made sure that I held the teach button down long enough. Okay, now it says successful. Step three has me connecting the Aqua Connect to power and do a range test with me pressing the teach button and see what lights up. I actually skipped this test because my range is not that far between the antenna and the Aqua Connect. Step four has me connect the power and the Aqua Connect to the router. Everything's already lit and blinking, so we'll go to step five. For this step, I need the last three digits of the unit's MAC address, which is at the bottom of the base. This will be part of the web address I type into the browser to control the pool from my computer. I'm able to access the Aqua Connect from my local network by typing in http colon forward slash forward slash my pool then the last three digits of my MAC address. Don't try to type this to access my pool equipment. It won't work because you're not connected to my local network. Not a nice try for those of you who tried. The browser interface is basic enough. Looks like I can control everything. This page matches everything that's on my main panel. Auxiliary 1 and 2 are my waterfalls and pool lights. I can scroll through other functions on the menu. Nice, spa heater and pool heater. Okay, I downloaded the app to my Android phone. This also works on Apple devices. I select my auxiliary to turn on the waterfall. There's a bit of a delay. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. Works like a charm. Now let's see the delay in turning it off. Not too bad. Taking a closer look at what the app looks like, very similar to the browser, very easy to use. I like that I can see the pool temperature from my phone. I can toggle back and forth between the pool and jacuzzi. And I can get deeper into the menu controls. At the time I did this video, there were no videos how to control a Hayward pool system. I had to do some research and take the chance I would do it right. It cost me about $550 for both the antenna and the Aqua Connect. I hope this helps and to have me keep up the videos, hit that subscribe button and like. Who knows what else I might be able to help out with.